Well, here we go with the equilateral triangle. Now, you all know the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. This comes up quite a bit, this equilateral triangle. Let's come up with a formula just for this figure. And we're going to say, in general terms, it has side s. Now, you all know this is the altitude. I'm going to draw the altitude right there. We could use this formula. Either way, we have to use this fact. We know that this altitude is going to divide this triangle into two congruent triangles, 30, 60, 90s. We did that in chapter 4. And you recall this altitude is a, it, it bisects this side, it bisects the angle up here, and it's an altitude. Wow, that's going to really be handy. So we've got this 30, 60, 90 right here. We know the ratio of the sides. The ratio of the sides being 1 on the short leg, to the hypotenuse, and radical 3, the long leg. So um, let me see. If I'm starting with S and I'm going to this side, well, that side must be, yep, you guessed it. It's got to be half an S or S over 2. Well, if this is half an S and then the ratio from here to here is 1 to radical 3, I must take this and multiply by Yes, radical 3. So the altitude is now S radical 3. So let's go back to this formula and let's substitute. I know that area is 1 half base times height. Remember now, the base is the entire base. The entire base is, of course, 10. But the height is, yes, S over 2 radical 3. So there's my substitution. And it looks like I can clean this up a little bit. I'll just rearrange here. I've got, so let me see, 1 half s is s over 2. And now, well, let me see, I can multiply those s's. That's s squared. And there you go, my simplified formula, s squared over 4, radical 3. Well, now let's make use of this newly derived formula, equilateral triangle, in this case with a side of 10. We just substitute. Easy. 10 squared over 4, 100 over 4. That's 25 radical 3 square meters. Easy squeezy. That's done. Simple, simple. Now, you didn't have to do it. You can always go old school and find the altitude, draw your 30, 60, 90 every single time, and using the ratio of the sides, let me see, 10, and that's going to make half of that 5. That's going to make the altitude 5 radical 3. You can go back to your formula, this formula, you can do your substitution. Remember, the entire base is 10, and you're multiplying by 5 radical 3. And we do our, oops, we already substituted. We multiply, well, let me see, 50, half of 50 is 25, or half of 10 is 5, 5 times 5 is 25. Either way, we end up there, same, same. So you decide. This looks like it saves a lot of time.